Hey guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you my Sheen order that I just recently got in the mail. Um, I love Sheen. I also have ordered from Romwe, or Romwe, I'm not sure how you say it. Um, and I've actually been really impressed with their products because I've heard, you know, a lot of things, the sizing is wrong or the quality is not that good. But for the price of what you're getting, I think it's actually really good and worth um, what you're paying. I mean, it's not expensive at all. So you're not expecting to get something that's like Gucci quality when you paid for an $8 shirt. But for $8, it's pretty good quality. Um, so I'm gonna share with you what I what I picked out. I also have my dog here. He wants to play. This is Coleman. He is part pit bull and part basset hound. And he is eight months old, so he still has a lot of puppy in him. No. Um, but he's a very sweet boy, and he will probably be featured on this channel a lot, and I will do videos with him. Also, I'm sorry if I make pauses or say um a lot. I am not used to talking to a camera. And this is my first time like really posting a real video. So I'm trying to be as natural as possible, but it doesn't come naturally to, naturally to me yet. So just try to have patience with me and give me a chance. I need to practice this a lot more. I don't really like speaking in general. I'm more of a quiet, reserved person. I'm kind of an introvert. So talking doesn't really, like, especially talking to someone I don't know, which you guys are an audience that you're not like my best friends or anything. So. I have a hard time feeling open and comfortable talking to people I don't really know. I just always feel like I'm going to be judged or I don't know that people are going to be rude, which I'm sure you guys are not going to be rude, but just just a wording. I'm not a professional YouTuber and I'm not used to talking to a camera, so please just have patience and stick with me. Um, so let's just get started doing the haul. I have my bag here. I already opened it because I wanted to peek. Oops, sorry, he just bumped it. Um, so yeah, let's get started. First, I ordered this little wallet. It's marble print. I don't remember how much this was. It definitely wasn't crazy expensive or anything. I think it might have been like between five and eight dollars. I'm not really sure. It has little pockets, places for your cards, little coin area, and little slits for cash. So it's a pretty good sized wallet and it feels I don't know how to describe it. It kind of feels like fake leather, but it's a little more grainy feeling. It's really pretty though. I really enjoy marble print or marble anything. I'm, I love marble. So I thought this was cute and the quality's not bad. The zipper is a little bit like, it's not as smooth, you know what I'm talking about? Like it's not sewn super smooth. So when you pull it, it's not as like flowy, but it's cute, comes with a little strap. Really like that. Um, yeah. And I also, oh, I got a purse too, but I'll show it to you later. Um, start with this. Um, they also come in these really cute bags with zippers, which is really nice. Great packaging for the mail. And then here's the front of this one. You can see it's like this crushed velvet really nice fabric. It's actually pretty thick fabric for the price I paid for this shirt. I don't remember the exact price either. I think it was like 10 or $11 maybe. And it has these little flowers embroidered on them. Really cute. It's kind of oversized. And these, I have shirts like this from other stores and they are, they're very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. Um, they're just really hot, so I wouldn't recommend these for like summer wear, but for like fall and winter, they're really nice. Okay, Coleman. Sorry, he's playing with a bag. He's my little buddy though, so he's gonna stick with me, right? And this, um, this is my favorite shirt that I ordered. Again, it comes in these nice little bags. So this one's supposed to look like a Gucci shirt which I cannot afford a Gucci shirt. I am a 20, 20 year old nanny. I cannot afford a Gucci shirt. So I thought this would be cute as just like a copycat, you know. Obviously everyone's gonna know this is not a Gucci shirt, but I just thought it was cute and fashionable. It says um, guilty on it. And then it, kind of, it has the same colors as Gucci and the stripe and everything. And then the symbol in the middle looks very similar to the Gucci symbol. 
So it's very clear they're trying to like rip off Gucci, but I'm totally fine with that and that's as close as I'm ever gonna get to Gucci, so that's fine. It's probably my favorite shirt that I ordered. And then this one, little bag. This one is also crushed velvet. There we go, you can see. Coleman, can you move for a second, buddy? Thank you. Um, yeah, so it looks like this pearly, pearly white, really, really pretty. I think it looks very expensive, which it really wasn't. And it has a nice sheen to it. Get it? Sheen. Um, I think it's really pretty. And it's pretty much the same shape as the other one. Same kind of style going on. It's just plain. It doesn't have anything on it. And then, this one didn't come in the nice zipper bag. And it doesn't have the sheen, like, tag on the, on the back of the neck. So I don't know if this is, like, made a little differently or something. It's definitely a not a nice of a package. Um, it's just this white t-shirt and it says if you stand for equality, hang on, oh my. stop it, it says if you stand for equality then you're a feminist, which I'm a feminist and I'm sure some people want to argue with me about that, which I'm not going to argue about it, but I just thought it was really cute and it's a cool saying, so and it's just kind of like a basic white t-shirt. And then I have one more, one more shirt left. This one came, so all of them came in the nice little bag except for the shirt I just showed you. And then I got this little pink, it's like a crop top with the sleeves at the shoulder. And it feels a little bit stretchy, but it looks kind of small. I did order this in a large. So I'm going to try it on and see. I have pretty thick arms. I'm pretty muscular. I'm lifting babies all day, so my arms are very muscular. So I'm not sure my arms are going to fit through this unless it's really... I mean, it has some stretch, so we'll see. I'm going to try it on. But I thought, I love this color. My favorite color is like that millennial pink, light, dusty pink kind of color. My lighting's making it kind of hard to see what color it is, but um, it looks more white. But it's light pink and it's that ribbed fabric so and everything that I ordered is a large um, I'm not sure what kind of fabric this one is made out of I can check the tag if it has one this one's part polyester part cotton and part spandex so that's what this one's made out of the other two are crushed velvet and then the little Gucci look-alike shirt. Let's see what that's made out of. This one is made out of 100% cotton. So that's what they're made out of. Um, I'm gonna try. I'm not very good at editing. I don't have like a good editing program yet and I don't have a good camera. This is just me in front of a window with my phone camera. So I'm sorry if the video quality isn't as good or if the audio isn't as good. Um, right now I can't really afford to get, like, pay for a really good program and I can't pay for a really good camera right now. Hopefully, if you guys are enjoying the videos and they're getting any attention, I might look into getting a good camera. But I don't want to, I'm just kind of doing this for fun and I don't want to spend a whole money, a whole lot of money, a whole bunch of money on a camera when I don't know how well my channel's gonna do. If I only get like 10 views a video, I'm not gonna spend $300 on a camera. So, um, that'll just have to wait. But, um, I'm gonna try to do another video with trying everything on and put them together if my editing program that I do have will let me. If not, I might have to post just two separate videos. But I'm gonna try to make them all into one. So, I'm gonna go and try each one of these on and film it for you guys. And hopefully that will just be part of this video, and if I don't get to include this, then go check for another video because I will be posting that separately if I have to. So thank you guys for um, watching this part of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I didn't get a whole lot of stuff. Um, I also got a purse, but I'm going to show you that when I do all the try-ons. Um, so I thought that was pretty good. This is my first Sheen haul. I also have done, I've done two orders from Romwe in the past. And I've loved everything I've got. I spent like about $100. And out of the $100, 
only one of the shirts didn't fit. So I thought that was pretty impressive. Um, so this is, Romwe and Sheen are very similar, but this is my first Sheen order, which I thought, I didn't want to go too crazy for the first order, but I'm not, I'm very impressed with it. I think the quality is pretty good. It's not like, obviously you're not getting something that's like designer quality because you're paying so cheap for it, but for the price you're paying, you're getting something good. I've, like the clothes I've ordered from Romwe, I've worn each of them several times and washed them, and they're holding up just fine. Some of the things, like the ones that have more like plasticky letters, I would suggest hand washing them, and they'll last even longer, and that way the letters don't get messed up or anything. Um, but other than that, most of it can be machine washed, um, and it, it does just fine. It holds up just fine. So if you're like nervous about or ordering from one of these companies, um, I, I, I would personally recommend them. I wouldn't be nervous about it. Um, just be careful about what you order. Like, read reviews. Try to get ones that have good reviews. Don't, don't, I order a few things that don't have any reviews at all, and I think I've just gotten lucky. But, as a general rule, try to just stick with buying things that, um, have reviews, have good reviews. And other than that, um, I don't think you can do too wrong on these things. I mean, they're not, you're not spending a huge amount of money on this. I mean, for all of this, all together cost me about, like, $50 or $60. And I got, like, five shirts, a wallet, and a purse. So, I think it's good value for your money. So, definitely check them out if you're interested. I'm going to go ahead and do the other part of my video. And if it's not included in this part, then I guess I will just see you in my next video. So thank you so much for watching. Please just give me a chance and stick around. Um, if you'd like to subscribe and like, that would mean the world to me. I'd also appreciate any feedback and comments. It would mean so much to me. So thank you so much. And I guess I'll either see you in the next part of this video or I'll see you in another video. Thank you so much, guys. Bye. Okay, so here's the first shirt I tried on. It's the Gucci lookalike shirt. Um, it's a little bit tight on me, like around my belly area, but not super tight. I think it fits pretty well. I'm also wearing a black bra, so you might be able to see through it. It's a little bit thin, but I would just wear like a white, a white bra or a nude bra underneath, and that shouldn't be a problem. It's not that thin, just not thick enough for a black bra under a white shirt. Um, but yeah, here it is. I think it's pretty cute. The quality's not bad. The fit's not bad. Um, yeah, sorry the lighting in here is not good. I'm in my bathroom and it has all this fake light. So, alright, I'm going to try on the next one. Okay, so here's the Feminist t-shirt. This one's much more baggy than the Gucci lookalike shirt. It fits a lot better, I think, because I prefer a looser t-shirt just because I don't like something that clings and shows every little roll that I have, considering I'm a little bit more of a curvy girl. So, I think it fits pretty well. And it's cute. I mean, it's just, it's a white t-shirt with words on it. It's not super complicated. I think it's cute. I also wanted to show, this is the purse I got. It's just like the, it's like the wallet with the marble print. But the wallet was more of a fake leather on the outside. This one's more just like shiny, plasticky kind of material. And you can see it's kind of shaped funny. Like it's it's like a square right here. And then it's more rounded in the back and the bottom is like sloped. So it kind of looks a little funny. But I mean, it was super cheap. So, and I think it's cute when it's like laying against you like this, no one's really gonna notice that it's kind of weirdly shaped. It is kind of small, so if you have a larger wallet, you probably would need a, a smaller wallet. Like, I use a pretty big wallet right now, and it doesn't fit in here, but just use a smaller wallet. Um, but if you have a small wallet and, like, your phone and maybe a pair of sunglasses and some lipstick would probably fit in here. It's, I mean, I think it's cute. It's marble. It's gold. I like it. So it kind of hangs like that. So I think it's pretty cute. So here's the blue crushed velvet shirt. I love it so much. It's so pretty. It has that beautiful sheen on it. Just kind of glows and I love that. And then the little flowers are so sweet on it. 
It comes up pretty high in your neck, but most of the crushed velvet shirts that I do have, they have a higher neckline for some reason. It might be the way the fabric lays that they need to have a higher neckline. But my only complaint with this is it's a little bit short. Excuse my pants, they're literally just pajama leggings that I threw on because I was wearing a dress and I can't show you shirts with no pants on, so I just threw these on. But that is not a good angle for me. I'm like filming from like down here instead of from like up, so I look a little bit, <laughs> not as flattering angle wise, but that's okay. Um, it's a little bit short, I would like it a little bit longer, but just, I would just wear like a high-waisted jean or something under it, or leggings, and it probably would be okay. Um, I also just ate like a ton of IHOP, so I'm a food baby. <laughs> but yeah, I think this shirt is beautiful. Also, I tried to get on the pink crop top that had like little sleeves like this and that was just not gonna happen that was not a large I don't know who like that's almost a small like I could not get into that like couldn't, couldn't even get over my head so I guess with that one that's a large and I don't think it came in a size larger than a large so if you're a large don't order that if you're like a smaller medium you might be able to squeeze into it but for that top I would only get it if you're like a small because it and if you're a small, order it a large because that was really tiny. Okay, and finally, I have the white crushed velvet shirt on. As you can see, you can it's a it's a little bit it's a little bit thin, which I'm surprised because it it feels thick, but it looks thin because you can perfectly see in the outline of my black bra here. So again, just wear a white or a nude bra and no one's gonna notice and it's the same kind of it's the exact same cut as the other shirt um, I think it's it's gorgeous um, I just need to wear a different bra with it but it's pretty much the same as the other shirt just without the flowers on it um, I love it I mean I think they're all cute I think that they're pretty well made the quality is not bad for what you're paying and even like compared to things like wish and other cheaper stores like that this quality is way better it's obviously like I said it's not gonna be designer but it's not so bad that you can only wear it once like I could get plenty of wear out of this just fine without it like falling apart so and for what I paid I mean I think this was like eight bucks I mean why not just go for it you know what I mean and it's kind of that cheap easy fashion where you're not having to fork out so much money so there you guys go. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I love it. Thank you. Okay guys, so that's it for this video. Um, I recently shopped at TJ Maxx and got a few really nice things. So if you guys would like to see a TJ Maxx haul, just comment down below. Um, I also have gotten a request for a yoga video, which I have not done yoga since I was probably like seven years old um but i will give it a shot um i can't guarantee i'm gonna be like the yoga master but i will try it and you guys can laugh at me and we'll just have fun with it so i will be making that at some point just a warning i usually work over 40 hours a week so i can really only film and edit on the weekends so please just be patient with me and give me time to get these things out and filmed and um yeah i will keep posting for you guys please 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 leave me some feedback and just I would love to have your support so thank you so much bye